All right, one other video request. This one, my class last year made a lot of funny, fun of this video here, uh, or of this question here, that it's a spherical souffle, which is like, how are you going to bake a spherical souffle? But anyway, you have a spherical souffle, apparently, and you put it in the oven, and its volume increases at a rate proportional to its radius. So, okay, let's give it a shot. The rate of change of the volume is proportional to its radius. Okay, so that's kind of weird because usually we try to separate our variables. And here we have like three different variables. We have volume, radius, and time. So what we're going to do is kind of do a little side problem. The volume of our spherical souffle is 4 thirds pi r cubed because that's the volume of a sphere. And so if we take the derivative dv dt, we get 4 pi r squared times dr dt. So it's like a related rates problem from a little bit from like two chapters ago. Okay. And so I'm going to substitute that all over into my differential equation because now we only have our two uh, equals kr. We only have our two variables. We want to get all our r's on the left side and get all of our uh, um, t's on the right side. <clears throat> well, it's a little weird that it says dr dt equals k over r. Oh, that's okay. I can make that happen. So the Question A wants me to write it as dr dt equals k over r. I don't think that that's a useful thing to do. I think it's pretty silly, but the textbook wants me to do it, so I'm going to do it real quick. So I can divide both sides by 4 pi r squared. So then I have k times r over 4 pi r squared, which the r can cancel here. And all the textbook is saying is that the letter K that they used is K over 4 pi. The way I use the letter K is different than the way they use the letter K. So their K in the textbook is equal to my K over 4 pi. Um, regardless, you can do it either way. Um, it's just a constant anyway. Just because we must obey the textbook, I suppose, we have K over R the way that they wrote it. Maybe that's a capital K versus a lowercase k. All right, now we're going to solve this differential equation by separating our variables. So dr times r, k times dt, integrate, integrate. Here, let me draw a little line. So we have r squared over 2 equals kt plus c. We know that it's 8 centimeter radius at the beginning and 12 centimeters when it's cooked 30 minutes later. So we know that R of 0 is 8, and we know that R of 30 is 12. So using R of 0 equals 8, uh, I guess 8 squared is 64 over 2 equals K times 0 plus C. So we know that C equals 32. R of 30 equals 12, means 144, 12 squared, 144 over 2 equals K times 30 plus 32. Let's see, 144 over 2 is 72. Take away 32, divide by 30 to get our K value. So what is that, 40 over 30? 40 over 30, so 4 thirds. All right, so here's our model then. R squared over 2 equals 40 over 30, so 4 thirds T plus 32. And then they ask the radius after 15 minutes. So let's just plug in 15. R squared over 2, 4 thirds times 15 plus 32, 3 goes into 15 5 times, 20 plus 32, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 32 is 52, 
times 2 is 104, so r is the square root of 104, so that's going to be pretty close to 10. And that's going to be the centimeter radius after 15 minutes in the oven. There we go. Please ask questions. Let me know how I can help.